is a 3,300 milliamp hour, 609 gram lipo too much for a six inch quad with 580 grams. Uh, yeah, it's too much. It's too much. Um, a good rule of thumb is that for a freestyle drone, a battery can should weigh about half the dry weight of the drone. So if you had a 580 gram dry weight, I would want about 300 grams for the battery. Now, that's for an agile freestyle drone. You can go up to maybe like one to one. So you're at you're right on the edge. Um, for cinematic flying with mild freestyle, maybe you're okay. But I, I certainly it's it's a heavy battery, and you're gonna feel every bit of that weight, and uh, you're gonna have to be really careful. Um, uh, not not overdoing it. I wonder what the disc loading of that is. Hold on a second. Let me run a calculation real quick. Yeah, I was kind of uh, going to ask, like, is there a point where, like, because there's yes. going to be some point where we get too heavy of a battery and then yes. we're losing in efficiency. So, well, I can't speak to that. You're right. I mean, at a certain point, you're just adding weight and you're decreasing your flight time because the added weight, the additional battery, isn't really helping you. Uh, I don't know if 3300 is there. I, I would guess that at a one to one dry weight to battery, you're not quite there yet. Um, but what I wonder is. If we have five inch, are these five inch props? Hang on. Stop, don't do that. Uh, prop diameter is, doesn't say. Doesn't say, 2506, 1500 KV, 6S. Uh, you really need to know your prop size, friend. Uh, what do you think, 2506? If it was 1500 KV? Inch. Six inch, okay. Six inch props uh, with a weight of, uh, a battery weight of 609 grams and an aircraft weight of 580 grams. Does that 500 plus GoPro 13, like what's a GoPro 13 weigh? Uh, like 200 grams, roughly, let's say 200 grams. Okay, so his all up is thirteen eighty nine. That is a disc loading. That doesn't seem right. Of twelve. That's a that's a very tolerable disc loading. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, that's a disc loading of twelve. That's that's very tolerable. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, with a disc loading of 12, mild freestyle and cinematic flight should be very achievable. Can you uh, roughly like, give us a one-sentence explanation of what disc loading is? Yeah, so disc loading means you take the area of the props. So, like, the prop is 6 inches. So you take the formula for the area of a circle, right? Pi, 2 pi, uh, r squared, right? 2 pi, r squared, pi, pi d squared, right? Yes. That's the area of a circle. You have four props, so you take that, one, two, three, four, and you add up that area, and then you take the weight of the aircraft divided by the area of the props. And that is a parameter called disk loading, and disk loading predicts um, basically, like, the, the it kind of relates to the thrust to weight ratio a little bit, but it predicts the sort of agility of a quadcopter. A quadcopter with a very low disc loading uh, is going to be very light, very agile, and not very and very floaty. A quadcopter with a very high disc loading is going to be very unresponsive, very heavy, and uh, very sort of flingy, but not not very floaty. Um, as a rule of thumb, a disc loading below six means the aircraft is really too light. And you're not really you, you you should have bigger motors. Your props are too big for your motors if your disc loading is below about six. And if your disc loading is above about it's hard to give a hard number, but I think a disc loading above about twenty-three or twenty-five is just too heavy to really like you're barely gonna be able to get off the ground with a disc loading around twenty-five. So a disc loading of twelve, like for a freestyle or racing drone, a typical disc loading is around eight. Uh, to 10, maybe. Um, a disc loading of 7 or 8 for a very light racing drone. 
And then as you get into heavier things like Cinewhoops, you get to disk loadings of like 12 or 15. I'm kind of pull, I'm making those numbers up because I don't actually have them memorized. A disk loading of 18 is high, but not like intolerably high. I think you're in a, right about where you think that you should be in that you're heavy. You're going to be able to do cinematic stuff. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with freestyle moves like split S's, but you probably can still do them. And I, I think that's reasonable.